So in this video, I am going to design a piston. In the previous video, we designed the block. So we are going to design a piston here. So open the sketch on the top plane and go to view normal to the sketch plane. Select the circle tool and draw a circle and give the diameter to this circle 3.05 and exit the sketch. Now open the and uh, select the extrude and select this sketch. We want to make a solid body from this circle and define the dimension the depth 2.5. So in this case, it does not matter in which direction we are going to use the extrude. Now, I am going to hide these planes. And again, we are going to open the sketch on the front plane. So select the front plane, select the sketch tool. The sketch is open and right click view to normal. Plane. Now we have to draw a sketch. So just select this circle and draw a circle. Escape from the circle and select the coincident constraint. Select this point and this edge like that. And Select the line tool. We have to draw a line from this region like that. Escape from the line tool. Select this line and select the construction line. So this line will be converted into a reference line. And now we have to draw a line from, from this point. From here. And make the second point coincident on this reference line. And again draw a line from this circle and the second point coincident with this reference line like that okay and we are going to use the trim tool I am going to trim this line this portion this portion so we have this sketch like that and now I am going to define the dimension for this sketch to fully define it. So from this point to this region, from this one, this side, we needed a dimension. So first we have to select the project and project this line. And use this line as a construction line okay now we can define the dimension between this point and this point this dimension is 0 0.25 and dimension from this this line this dimension we have 0 0.5 and now we have to define the radius of this circle it's 0 0.5 and which dimension we can define to fully define it. So we can select the tangent, select this line and this, and this arc and this line to add a tangent relation between them. Now you can see all the lines are black, that means it's fully defined and we don't need it to define another dimension. Next, uh, use the mirror tool. This will be the uh, mirror line, and we want to mirror this line, this arc, and this line and exit the sketch now we have this sketch this portion of the sketch and use the extrude tool select this this sketch and we want to use the through all and it's adding the material we needed to remove the material so now the material is removed in the other side and we use this metric so on the both sides the material will be removed okay next we have to again open the sketch on the on the front plane on this plane so click on sketch select this plane right click so we can view to normal okay and we can hide the front plane so for this 
we needed to draw a circle so circle give the dimension the diameter of this circle we have to define it's 0 0.5 okay and we have to define a relation the vertical relation between this point and this point and a dimension between this point and this point this dimension it's one so now this is fully defined exit the sketch again use the extrude and use this sketch and we have to select the true all and we want to remove the material and select this metric so material is removed on the both side okay now move to the next step again open the sketch and this time we have to select this face for the sketch and view normal to the sketch plane now simply draw a circle like that select the dimension tool mention between this circle and this circle it's 0 0.1 okay exit from this sketch extrude tool for this sketch select this circle this portion and also this portion and basically we want to remove the material remove it on the other side and for this one we have to define the depth it's 2.4 okay so at this side our selection is not wet we have to so we don't have to select this portion we have to only select this like that and just use the mirror tool this one radius 0.05 and click OK. Now the piston is ready. We can change the color.